We call this a bilzothe. Uh, bilzothe is what we uh, pretty much say in our language. Uh, I'll, we, we also call this a spirit, uh, high spirit flute. Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. We're actually really close to Christmas now, this is quite scary. Um, we are still in the Marriott in Page. Our alarm, fire alarm, went off in our room last night just for no reason. It was horrible. And uh, so we rang the lady from the desk, she came up. She turned it off, took it out, and then gave us vouchers for a free breakfast this morning, which is great. So it's worked out okay. So the plan today is Antelope Canyon, which we've got a tour at at 10.50. But then we're going to try and fit in going to the lake and the dam before then. I don't think there's much to see in that time at the lake or the dam because the dam is just a big wall. You can see how far my vlog has been uploaded. Left it going all night. 50%. Oh, it's an even 50% though. 550 minutes left. <laughs> It's an interesting fact about concrete, particularly with dams like this and the Hoover Dam, yep. is that as it sets, it's actually an exothermic process, so it gives off heat. Right. And I think the Hoover Dam was still giving off heat about 40 years after it was finished. Seriously, because there was so much concrete? Yeah, and particularly the bits in the middle <laughs> will just keep going for... Yeah years and years, it's something on, on this scale. Wow. Oh, that's the only interesting thing there is about concrete. <laughs> Should we make a move? Yep, I think that'll be a good idea. So I normally film with the Fuji X-T1. That's what I'm filming on now, and this is my second body here. That's what I've been doing all my vlogs on. And then I got the Osmo for New York, which I still haven't edited, which is really frustrating. I want to get that out as soon as possible. But I used it in uh, Grand Canyon and West Fork Trail, as you see, we'll be able to see in the previous two vlogs. And uh, when I got it, I thought, I have to go back to everywhere I've been and now film it with the Osmo, which I've now actually gotten to do because the family here, it's worked out, it's worked out so well that I can now do Antelope Canyon because that is what I had in mind with this camera, is that this is the perfect place. So hopefully I'll get some stunning footage, but I'll try not to put in too much because I realize that'll be boring, but. Yes, this is, I'm really excited to get to use this camera here, and I might actually be the first person ever to do it. So, DJI, if you're watching, uh, check this out. A lot of people ask us if we play music that people know. It is kind of hard playing it, but oh no, but but it is um, music. Music. um but it does uh, has to do part of traditional music as oh, well. Okay. But it is um, a different one we play. It okay. just, so let's give you a little sound to it. So that was amazing. That was Buddy, our guide, such a good guide. Thank you, Buddy. And this is Ken's tours. This is the second time I've come because the first time was amazing. This time was even better. So 
Highly recommend it if you're in Arizona and you want to come to Antelope Canyon, Ken's Tours. Hello. Hello. You're in the vlog, by the way. landing around Page and had to dump a load of fuel because they can't land on their fully fueled weight because it's too heavy. So they've just had to dump a load of fuel. Is that the thing they do? Mm. Mm. I've been turning around. Do you think we should turn around? Michael's thinking. I'm thinking. Okay, no, we're not on the right road. We're on Walmart mission to prepare for Yosemite. We want to get some snow chains for the tires. Hopefully, I'll we'll have them and then we can actually get to where we're staying in the middle of nowhere. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Auto care. Caring for your auto. As in Otto. The person called Otto. This is actually quite relevant because a good way to approximate the four stroke combustion cycle is the Otto cycle. O T T O. Stuff. Always a joy shopping with you, Michael. I'd say you learn something new every day, but it just goes straight over my head. So. No idea. No success with snow chains, but we are in paid, so it kind of makes sense that, that it wouldn't be the top priority for the desert. Fair enough. Is it to go? So that's the first stage of the road trip done. Yeah? Is it? Get very far. Yeah, no. up to page. Yeah, like stuff to page. Oh, yeah. We're now on I'm laughing at my second bit. Yeah. That's the first stop. I just read the sign about this place. Mm. It's a very sort of American presidential story from the past. This was made a national game reserve by Teddy Roosevelt mm -hmm. because he came here to hunt and liked it so much. <laughs> Did not expect to be seeing snow today. No. After being in the desert this morning, that's crazy. What is this, sorry, Michael? This is a metropolis that is Fredonia. In the middle of nowhere. Where is one of the drivers? That's done his first stint. Is it largely because it's called Bunkerville? We're going to Bunkerville. Well, that's why you chose Pahrump as well. Where's Pahrump on the map? Is that beyond Vegas? Yeah. Beyond Vegas? Yeah. So we could end up in Pahrump. That, 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 that is, I think, still the aim. Okay. And there's a best western there. Yeah. Down the road. <laughs> it's also the Pahrump nugget. From the Pahrump <laughs> nugget. <laughs> we've, got, we've got to go into the Pahrump. We have to go to the Pahrump nugget. We've got to see it. Which is the left turn of Mount Camel. Lotto, guns, ammo, and beer. That sounds like a good combination. Like one of each. <laughs> Please? If I had no place to fall And I needed to Could I count on you To lay me down I'd never tell you no lies I don't believe it's wise You got pretty eyes Won't you spin me round I ain't much of a lover, it's true I'm here and I just stopped to watch the sunset because it happens to be 
overlooking Zion National Park right now, which is just amazing. Oh, horses. This is incredible. This feels like a completely different country. Amazing. Skies full of silver and gold Try to hide the sun But it can't be done So at the moment we are in Nevada, just outside of Vegas. It is, what time is it? Eight. eight. It's eight o'clock and we are just outside of Vegas. We're hoping to get past Vegas and then we'll stop for the night before heading to Death Valley or Sequoia National Park tomorrow. It's going pretty well so far. It's good. It's what's, the red, what's the red light for? Mood lighting. Rude lighting. Mood lighting. <laughs> Mood, I thought you said rude, yeah. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. It's good. Hmm. Last stretch now, other side of Vegas, and we'll see if we can uh, bed down for the night. All right, oh, check in again. Uh, next stop, which hopefully will be Prump. Prump. Take my hand. If I had no place to fall, and I needed to. Could I count on you? So we made it to Pahrump, which is great. We passed Vegas and now we're here. It's much bigger than expected. Just got a room for the night. We're gonna have some dinner now. And then we might head to the Pahrump Nugget, which is a quite a famous casino hotel here. Although we read reviews about it last night and it sounds like an interesting experience. So that's what we're gonna aim for. <laughs> Tonight, even this place is unique because it's Nevada, people can smoke inside, the slot machines, gambling, games, all that sort of stuff. Very different to where I am from in Arizona. <laughs> where I'm from. Ollie, what would you like to drink? A hangover burger. Why is that a hangover burger? Just what the doctor ordered. Mum's asked for an omelette, you know it's not on the menu, so we're having a debate as to whether they'll say yes or not. I think it'll be no, because they're closing the port for an hour, and they're not going to want any fat for that kind of time. I think it'll be yes, because I think the chef will probably want uh, the challenge of being able to put something together, and it's different. He's never been, never been asked to do an omelette before. <laughs> Excitement. Uh -huh. I think it'll be yes, because I really fancy an omelette. <laughs> I think it's going to be a no. They might not have the right pan. <laughs> they might not have any pans. <laughs> burgers, burgers, or pizzas, basically. We've got salad. Salads? Yeah, I had salad at lunch. Got a salad. <laughs> it's too American. <laughs> <laughs> the results are in. <laughs> uh, if you're playing along at home, press the red button now. <laughs> Mum, what was the answer? Sadly, no. She did say no sweetie, which is mm. nice. Yeah. So she was genuinely upset for you that they couldn't make an omelette off menu. She, she was nice about it than I would have been. Yeah, I wouldn't have even asked the chef. Is it on the menu? No, it's <laughs> off. I've got a lot of pizza. We, Ollie, Dad and I were a bit ambitious and each ordered a 14 inch pizza. It's raining, it's not meant to rain prop. <laughs> In where? <laughs> Bar rump. Let's go. Off roading. <laughs> Follow your suit. Oh god. <laughs> Bar rump rain. I'd like to tell the viewers at home what you're doing. Hmm? <laughs> Why do you put a full mouth? Hmm? I'll translate. Would you like to tell the viewers at home what you're doing? Really? Um, I'm eating a pancake for <laughs> dinner. <laughs> <laughs>